So what are some metal related subjects that you want to talk about or you're pissed about or just absolutely excited about? Let it be known in the comments, but I have an answer for a common question that everybody has been asking me and that is what the hell is going on with Hellcast? So we did a mini Hellcast episode. Yeah, I sat down with J-Dog and well, this is why I'm doing this intro sequence because this dumbass uh, forgot to turn on the video aspect to it. So it's truly where Hellcast started as a purely audio podcast uh, so the answers to all that lay within the rest of this video so stay tuned for that but while I've got you I do want to encourage you to go to the Reaper Metal Bandcamp page the link is in the description of this video and there is a sale going on for Hell Ripper Black Arts and Alchemy and Gray Violator Back to the Cult with an added bonus of Gray Violator's previous EP um, you can jam that out and uh, download it all all three of those releases you can download and you could do it for free or you can give us a buck whatever you feel that it's worth because that's the precisely the, the deal is name your own price for digital and then of course uh, the physical copies of the stuff is there unfortunately not the Grave Violator EP but uh, definitely check that out it's a great EP so is the album by Grave Violator as well as Hell Ripper that's been doing really well uh, everything has been so anyway check out the uh, Hell the mini Hellcast episode, and we'll take it from there. All right, yet another update, but it, I figured at this point, so many people have been asking what's going on with such and such, particularly what's going on with Hellcast, and it kind of just occurred to me, well, I see the guy every damn day, might as well just ha sit his ass down, and so here is J-Dog, who you have not seen in a while, and really I just, I'm getting sick of kind of come up with a reason after reason. If I was a fan of something and someone kept prolonging it with another reason, I'd kind of start losing faith. But with a lot of things that have been going on, some of it's just been entirely out of the process of building this new studio atmosphere, which you've definitely seen been following this channel, but uh, more so than getting meshing it with this guy's schedule, because when we do come back with Hellcast, I want to make sure that we're doing it regularly and you know when to expect stuff. So why the fuck have you been so damn busy? Well, you got a new background for starters, it looks like. Yeah. Right, going on, and then the... Uh... Well, you know, there's a lot of things. I mean, the company's been busy. Had a lot of new stuff come out lately. And then we had a lot of fun behind-the-scenes stuff, you know what I mean? Going oh, my God. Some, with some dumbasses, you know, got some guys that couldn't power through the jo work jo job. <laughs> some guys blacking out, and some guys just flat-out fucking stupid. Yeah. But, um, so that's been a lot of fun. Uh, uh, Hasn't yeah. been the... Uh people that like when you online you know, you'll go I, I would love to work at Hellset Vegas. yeah I mean uh, much to uh, popular belief you know when we come here it's not we're not listening to demos and having pizza parties and blowjobs and you know all that <laughs> wish but no let us know in the comments if that's what you think working at yeah, a record Hellset label yeah, yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, yeah pizza demos blowjobs <laughs> like, <laughs> where can I get my application so cause yeah so we went through a few uh, new um, employees and, the, and shit the this is the fastest amount of time we've gone through employees as far as time. You know, they usually will stick around for a little while. Yeah. And, um, but, uh, yeah. It's not, not the easy process that it should be, all these things. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, you have our, you know, standards that we have, and as you know, and, um, you know, so sometimes just couldn't do it. <laughs> Some folks just can't handle it. Yeah, but then in the meantime, there's also been a bunch of really cool releases. Blood Feast. Yeah, um, the Blood Feast, Shape Picture Disc, the, it, well, then there's regular vinyl, too, the, um, Midnight Shape Picture Disc. Yeah, Shocks of Violence. Yeah, Shocks of Violence and Shape Picture Disc. So, I mean, it's the, um, fuck, I mean, I don't even remember the last time we did an episode, so what, uh, what's all come out since then? Oh, hey, my God, know? a lot of stuff has been... Yeah, you can leave that in the comments. When was the last time? The trivia question. Uh, when was the last time? It was a Hellcast? La yeah, yeah, last time. Like, what month was that? I don't even remember. Time flies. It was a while. It, so, yeah, since yeah. then, I mean, because uh, those were the those were the really recent ones. Uh, new Bat. New bat release. Yeah, the tapes uh, just came in. Uh, tapes, well, everything's out now. I'll see the LP and cassette that's out now. Um, shit, what else since then? Mm, can you think of anything? There's, it's so much. Such a, it's a blur, but it, yeah. and it's a lot. But I, you know, I think, and then to clarify too, uh, you know, what even holds that up? Because you know, I don't. I I think you probably talked about on Hellcast before. But you know, you're 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 mainly the guy that's obviously running the show of getting packages out the door. Mm -hmm. So when you get them in pristine condition, as I would hope you do, you can thank this guy going through all the bullshit that it is. Also, I went for a few guys because it was uh, that was a position that we were filling, and one guy said he couldn't power through it. One guy said uh, one guy blacked out on the job in four hours. He tuckered out, and then another guy was just a straight up complete dumb shit. <laughs> so. 
All three don't work. <laughs> no. So, but we got another new guy in there. I think he's going to hang in there pretty good. He's yeah. Gonna like it. Uh, likes metal too, so that always helps. He knows who Venom is. Yeah, well, cool, because that's one of your stipulations. We laughed. I think you even said that at Hellcast. Like, you got, I mean, it sounds dumb, but you got to know who Venom is. Otherwise, it's scared. Don't want you here. It's, so that criterion's been proven. It's a proven. Get a non Venom listener in here, and they just suck. Well, listeners, maybe not the. You just got to at least know who they are. You got to at least yeah. know who they are. But don't you think that kind of goes. The, the rationale of that, I, I, as I was trying to pinpoint it as it's transpiring to be true, is I think a lot of what it, it happens to be. Like, if you're an all-over print metal kid, which I don't even know what that would be, I guess, Screamo or whatever the fuck. I guess fuck. it is with the one clown that we're talking about. I guess it's the Deathcore stuff, I guess. Which yeah. I don't even know, like, I don't know, like, any Deathcore bands. Like, I don't, I couldn't name you any. Right. And so I think if you're into that, you might think, well, I'm in the heavy music, but it's not, like, there's just certain things in the air. Like, in the underground, for hells, when you're doing trades. Like, if you're into this stuff, you may not know the ins and outs of a trade, but, like, you're kind of going to understand that a little bit. And so when it's like, hey, we don't put these in cases, this is a procedure, just understand that's that much further ahead. If you like records, knowing that someone's going to care if that thing's sliding around or damaged or not. Well, they're going to care if they get a black vinyl over a right. vinyl if they order it. Yeah, like, to the person that does never heard of Venom, that they're just oblivious. Like, they don't even Exactly. Know. So they don't know how to properly treat that no, and no. be a good packer right. or maybe on top of it. So I think it, that, I think... That's what more so. Well, and I think the, the the uh, the obvious thing is like like my other brothers when hiring they'll say, well, you just tell them, you teach them. It's like, yeah, you do, but it's it's they're so oblivious to it that I notice it just flies over their head. It's not that they can't be taught. It's just and uh, since liking this shit since a kid, I, it's just annoying that you have to explain that for me. Yeah. And I'm not saying that they, like, someone couldn't learn. It's just I, I just uh, you know getting. Old man syndrome, get a little grumpy, and just don't feel like to explain that. <laughs> <It's pretty laughs> sky. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, there's some, so there's some of that going on. Yeah. So when we do get it all narrowed down and stuff, though, we will be definitely. Yeah, fine maybe. With uh, yeah, maybe very good. But uh, unless you got some ideas, uh, maybe uh, since people are waiting, maybe there's some some gossip or some uh, crap that's been going on in the scene that they want us to talk about. Maybe leave in the comments of this and say, hey, yeah. guys, discuss this. This has been this shit dig's been going on. I'm out of the loop. I don't know what's been going on. I've been so busy with work. But if you guys know anything out in the metal community or something you want to hear talked about, maybe throw that in the comments. Be like, I got to hear their take on this. Yeah. Maybe my, that. I, I knew kind of more was uh, there was an offer to do an interview with uh, Alex Hellid from uh, Entombed. Oh, and that was, was just stuff that with you, yeah, coming up. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, well, and that was kind of where I even said, look, let's just do this video right now. Because it's like, I, I, I was about to bite on it, but it's like. What is he doing? You know, well, he's doing a live clandestine. It's like, he's not going to want to answer the questions I've got because none of them are really all that polite. It's going to be kind of like, why are you making a live album of the guy that, that did vocals and drums that isn't partaking in it? You know, stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry, Alex, if you're watching. I think it's just because the obvious is the mutual album that everybody likes. Yeah. You know, honestly, I, I always thought Left Hand Path is the king, but uh, I think uh, overall, from what I understood, and I haven't learned this the last few years, it seems like clandestine is like, like their most popular record. It seems like because newer fans, older fans seem to agree that's at the middle ground. I didn't know that. I always figured left hand Pat's king. Yeah. But I guess not. I guess that's because king. But totally. where do you stand at? Because I don't think you like that one that all. I do. I do like it now, but it took me a while to get into it because I didn't like the vocals at first. Oh really? They sound. Yeah, I didn't like. I just like yeah. They're not as heavy and they're not as heavy sound. They're like kind of like wrestlerish fucking. Uh, not that they were bad. They were just. I guess they're just different, and it took me a while to get into it. So I always kind of. That was what I always loved about it, especially like that opening scream and uh, beyond the living. Or uh, well, not to sound like that, Mister uh, Older than I am, because I mean I didn't listen to Left Hand Path when I was four years old, like some guys would say. But I, for whatever reason, that was the first one I did hear. Yeah. I, I might not even known it was the first album, but I got lucky, and that's the one I picked up and I heard first. And I think it was like two, three years later until I heard Clandestine, and uh, I was like, yeah, it fucking sounds different. Yeah. And then there's one, does, or, there's one or two songs on the album, too, that are from the uh, demo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I, I like the demos much, much better. I don't want to be that guy either, I know, but I can't help it. The Nihilus demos and the Gimme 2 demos, are, to me, are just way better. Well, and then there's the Crawl EP that had the Nevada yeah. 2002 guy doing vocals. Yeah, which I actually do have that 12-inch Maxi, too, the Crawl. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and those versions are really cool. I don't know if better. It's a, it's a listener thing. You know, the other thing is, admittedly, I, you might get the guy in the comments, says, what? You didn't know? That's so obvious. Uh, and I'm curious if you did, because I know you're a fan of Phantasm, the movie. <laughs> yeah, I Did am. you ever realize that the theme song to Phantasm is that, like, keyboard part in the middle of the song Left Hand Path? You know what? I mean, I saw Phantasm way, 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 way after uh, I liked Entombed. 
Yeah. So I, I think when I finally like heard that or whatever, I kind of just didn't care because yeah. I was kind of like in back because I knew uh, like a big thing I knew that I always knew was from it, and I uh, saw much later is a lot of the mortician intros and other band intros like Toxo Death uses a lot of Phantasm. Um, all those interests are from there, and I, I knew all those albums very, very well before I even uh, saw Phantasm. So I knew there was so much metal collaboration that when I watched it, I didn't think any. I just knew there was so much. Yeah, yeah. Because it wasn't like I saw like a lot of people like uh, um, in the metal scene that they're just as much into horror movies or even more so, than, and then metal. Yeah, or I agree. Zero. So they saw Phantasm before they even uh, heard these albums. So they made that. Me, it was way after. I mean, like I, I mean. I don't even want to say the year. People, you just saw Phantasm then, but it was—I mean, I knew Left Hand Path easily fifteen years before I saw Phantasm. Ah, right, some some things hit you later, but isn't it what? Isn't it a fun experience? Like I miss that. Like, well, deceased a big uh, culprit in like looking at their lyrics because King Father would call it out. Like what? Song yeah, but, was a, about what? but a lot of that stuff, King is because uh, I'm not a big movie guy, believe it or not. Uh, it's not that I don't like them. It's just I just. Don't seem to watch a lot of movies for whatever reason. Well, there's multiple. Hey, busy packing records. Yeah, busy packing records. <laughs> picking, picking up slack for guys that, that uh, can't power through it. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, um, uh, I, a lot of the stuff that King sings about, something for deceased and the horror movies. Uh, I think the idea is cool, but I'll be honest, a lot of that shit I've never seen. So I'm just like, I don't. I just know his music and stuff. I don't really know the movie reference. Do you like when you do stumble across it though? Because like it's like, oh my, oh wow, now I know why that lyrics like that. Or? Yeah, if I know it, especially if it's something I liked. But unfortunately, I think a lot of my favorite movies and shit. I don't think it really collaborates too much with the metal scene. What's one of your favorite movies? Predator. I don't know if there's there any Predator re metal references. Correct. That's I what guess. I'm saying. Well, there's that one. Neighbor. Who's that? Um, you know what's funny? Yeah, exactly. Victimizer actually had more um, like references that I could enjoy. Because the action. Yeah, because he, he had like stuff from like Cobra and Running Man and uh, uh, what else was in there? I mean, there was Jaws, obviously. Yeah. Um, stuff that I, yeah, that I more I knew was kind of more up my alley. But um, no, as far as Predator, I can't remember the band. Fuck, we had it stop. You remember that? Uh, we had the CD and there was the city and the, the band Photoshop Predator falling down. I think it was called no. Stalker or something. Oh, no, no. Fuck, what was it called? Uh, we've had them in stock. Yeah. Some more of a Predator 2 vibe? You know what? I, it was just, I believe it was almost possible, just like kind of like, um, like, uh, Bay Area Thrash type stuff, but like later on, like in the 2000s. But the cover, like, what did yeah, that No, I the guess... cover was just, I think, it, I, don't quote me, I want to say it was a picture of like Los Angeles, but uh, Predator was photoshopped in from like Predator 2. Yeah. I think the part when he's jumping down from, uh, because it was without the uh, face mask. Uh, I'm almost positive it was the Predator 2. And who's oh, so he's pussy face. Yeah, he's pussy face, yeah. <laughs> and, um, I just thought it was, it was silly, but I thought it was cool at the same time, uh, but the last episode, I was, you know, just, you know, kind of standard thrash from I remember. But I want to say the band was called Stalker or uh, Hunter or Night Hunter or something. Oh, so bonus points if you get that right and you tell oh, me the comments. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember. But I first saw it. I forget who cased it. It might have been one of our previous guys. Well, it was one of our previous guys. And the show is, hey, what do you think of this? It might have been Don, actually. I oh, think really? it was, actually. Oh, was that? Because he one. pulled. Oh, yeah. That's, but no, but we've we actually sold one. And I think it was our last one, like, not that long ago, like less than a year ago. And yeah. I remind, I was like, "Oh yeah, I forgot all about this." I was laughing, but I think it was Don when he worked here, and he's uh, he's always just he's chuckling. He's like, "That's, that's kind of silly," you know, like because it was just silly how they did it. I was like, "Ah, oh, kind of cool though." If I finally a reference to something I really, really like. Yeah, you know, because you know, don't be wrong. I like a lot of you know, like Night of the Living Dead and stuff like that. But I was not like not as much as I like like Predator and Terminator and stuff like that. More of the action kind of guy. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess There's, so. Well, there's and all the brilliant ideas happen in a whole cast scenario. There's a brilliant idea for a new band instead of being horror, little yeah, yeah. action metal. <laughs> well, Victimizer kind of did there for a little yeah. bit. They're on the go because, yeah, like, like I said, they had the Running Man in there, Cobra for sure, like Pride of the Zombie Squad, which is probably my favorite song by Victimizer. Yeah. Well, either that or um, I really like, uh, which if none of you folks have this, which never got reissued, it seemed like, other than Sun's Pictures, I really like their early release, the Communist Crusher uh, 7 inch. Yeah, which uh, isn't Prince of Darkness the song on there? It's on there, and that's my least favorite song. <laughs> well, it's like the lighter song, right? I think it's the last track on there. There's four songs. It's like more of a, uh, it's not an acoustic, but. No, they're like, like oh, there's like Bone Breaking Armageddon Metal. Oh, that's a great song. I gotta go back to that. That's a great seven inch. I remember that was my first introduction to Victor. You were always, you were always hyping that seven inch. Love that seven inch. And, yeah. um, but that never got, um, you know how like a lot of stuff will come out as like bonus tracks on a CD? It wasn't? It wasn't on that collection? No, no, it was that collection. that collection. Yeah, but that's, um, no, because for the, for the longest time, because we did an LP of it. Fuck, we, uh, that's called uh, Unholy Banners of Victimizer, I believe, right? 
pretty sure that's size the fitting. Well, the yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew some of there was oh, banners. That, yeah, that's yeah. seven inches. That not, is. Unless my unless I fucking my memory is really going, it's not on there because I always thought, why isn't it on there? I think that's just their demo, and maybe a rehearsal or something. I mean, if Aster or something's watching this, like, you fucking poser, you don't know. I mean, I, I have a decent idea, but I remember the seven inches on there. <laughs> but honestly, I like that though. I'm glad it's not because yeah, you, that makes yeah. a seven inch like you need it. Like if you don't have that in your metal collection, go the fuck out and get it. You need Victimizer, Communist Crusher. So you wouldn't be excited about a Crucified Mortal seven inch collection CD? Them trying to bark on. You know what's funny? I like those, like like how Nunslaughter is doing that with all the Devil's Conjuries and stuff we're doing. I really, really do like those because I get to listen to all these seven inches I really like. You can listen to the car and stuff. It's yeah. much convenient. But it's at the same time, I like both because if you don't have the seven inch, show, it makes it so much more collectible because. If it's got really good songs on there, and that's the only foot say so there's five. I think um, the victimizer, I'm almost positive, it comes in a gatefold seven inch. I'm almost positive there's five hundred of those. And then a few years later, I'm pretty sure it was Aster. I think he did it on his uh, label, the Horror Records. I think it was him. I could be wrong on that. But anyways, there's a seven inch picture disc, and I'm pretty sure there's just three hundred of those, five hundred tops. There's just those two pressings. So the only way you're getting those songs, yeah, to me that's truly underground music. It's cool. You have to buy it on a vinyl. You have yeah. to get the, to own those songs. You have to buy that. So I like that for the kind of the the um, the the underground feeling that's basically dead and gone, doesn't exist anymore. Just you know, you can get anything digital, you can get it out there. Like you have to get that to have those songs. Yeah. So I like it for that reason. But for my own personal taste, where I can listen to the car, yeah, it'd be nice to have it on a disc. But honestly, I like it because just a lot of posers can't get it. Yeah, you get it, and, and then it's collectible, and it's just it's just fun. You know what I mean? It's like it's not just everywhere. And uh, I like to offset like the that. design though when it comes to like you know, laying it out instead of like making sure you have like a crystal clear image of the cover. I mean, this is all going to be situational per the release, but anytime I am involved in a project that's a collection, I do try to like offset it where it's not giving you every little thing because the music's already on there. So you can't do anything about that. But, uh, like layout wise, that way, if you do have the seven inch and stuff, maybe there's an extra band picture. There's still something extra that you want to have that original. I always try to take away something in the collection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That way the collection can still be, it's going to remain ma the best, but that way if you're one of those collectors, then you can still be like, oh, well, you know, at least you get that band picture, or you get this or that or this. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you like a 7-inch collection disc that has exclusive unreleased bonus tracks? I mean, I guess I wouldn't be against it, because if you're not, if you're getting extra on top of it, you, then you're really, you know, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be, no, I'm not, definitely not against it. Uh, the, um, the nun slaughters are cool, but the disc two gets a little trashy. But I think that's yeah. just. But I, well, that, but I think <laughs> that's just Don like getting, or whatever. Well, but I think uh, it's just you know Don you know fill it up you know give them their money's worth. So the idea is cool, but I mean I'm not. Gonna, I mean a lot of those are you know it's a one time listen for me. Usually for those, those disc one is what I really want. It's the seven inch on there, yeah. and then this, the disc two is a lot of the um, like the die 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 hards you're gonna want, and, and it's cool to have the you know if you uh, as a band, but it's not something I'm gonna be like listening to all the time. Yeah. But you know if you're gonna buy it, you're gonna get. The, I mean it's not you can't hurt to be on there. Yeah. Well, this feels good not being the only jackass sitting in here doing recording videos. It's basically all I've done in this setup. It's going to be really cool. As you've kind of seen, you can't tell because I moved it around today. There's a camera that would be coming on me straight on like this, so it could just be of me or close up when I'm talking. This one that we're using now would be a straight on just a J-Dog or whoever would be in this corner that you don't entirely see here. And then we got one right back there, which is the nicest camera of all, that would then be doing this angle only wider where you get the whole room. Got a uh, camera or TV oh, here yeah. hooked up that way for chatting about I something. I don't think it's in the shot even. TV. No, no, everything's properly placed. Yeah. That way, it could be this production. The lights are just on remote. Got and it's all set up, ready to rock. I mean, that didn't take too long from when I said, "Hey, let's do a video and sit down." Did no, it? No, no, no. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that has been the effort of this. So and then the audio will be better. I just didn't bother doing it right here. I got a microphone. Oh yeah, I don't got the dick in my mouth. Well, you will have the dick in your oh, mouth, man. but we'll get it. We'll, we'll get you a nicer dick. Oh, um, nicer yeah. dick be better. They won't have to fuck with the whole time. Um, so it definitely has come together. Uh, so definitely expect that. I've, I've talked about. It. I haven't fully shown it off. Because it's not uh, always entirely ready, but a lot of it is just going to probably be, let's just go with it. So, um, needless to say, though, I wanted to do a little quick update. So, Hellcast, everything really that, uh, anything that's happened on this channel will be making a return at some point. It's just been a matter of getting to it, and there you go. Let us know what the fuck you want to hear about. Yeah, in the comments. Until then, we'll talk to you next time. Later.